Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC. I wanted to invite you into Fifth Access Work Holding, really one of those shops that is state of the art, investing in the best technology. But I bring that up because guess what? It's also based in San Diego. You know what else is in San Diego? High rates. And what I mean by that is the expenses that go into the expansion of buildings, real estate space, building vertically upwards, which we can't always do, but we're trying to because space is so darn valuable. Just like the space in this interview when I talk too much and I got Matt with me and Matt's supposed to do all the talking. Matt, we have a great shelving unit behind us. Obviously that whole long winded introduction was yep. to introduce the audience and for you to allow a moment to say, we have a brand new shelving unit. Yeah. We'd love to introduce to the audience as a well. Absolutely. What sets this unit apart and, and why would someone want to invest sure. in it? Sure, so you hit on the main thing is floor space. Everyone's limited on floor space, so we tried to come up with the, the smallest floor space shelving unit possible, make it modular, so uh, the shelves are adjustable. Uh, we also have both mounting patterns on each shelf, so they're reversible. So 52 millimeter on one side, 96 on the other. So again, very open source, very user friendly. It's easy to move shelves, take shelves away if you have larger parts. Um, it's it's very simple. It's like everything we do. We try to keep it simple and um, make it very very easy to install, easy to work with. People can understand it. It's a few bolts and um, it, it's it's just a good modular design. It's two, not overcomplicated. Two things that pop up in my mind. One, you need to install an easy button on the side because that's about as easy as it it's, gets. It's basically go, I'm ready it. to go. Exactly. And right. then the second thing is, and we use this word probably far too much, but I think it fits perfectly here, is just the flexibility. 100%. Because once we've gotten the audience, once we've gotten customers, once we've gotten potential customers to realize the ease of use, that they can set it up and be ready to go. They can flip the shelving around based on what's going on. The part sizes can be adjusted and that we're vertically, vertically integrating to help that yep. floor space as well. We also need to be flexible. I mm -hmm. mean, this day and age, as much as we want to have a million parts of one thing, it just doesn't work like that, does it? No. And we're gonna have so many different things. So your flexibility, really a fantastic shelving unit. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's expandable. So as you grow, you can add more shelves, more shelving units mm -hmm. uh, as you add more tooling basically. So that was a big consideration. We also thought um, the way it's mounted to the floor is very, very simple. So if you need to move machines, which we, we hate to do, but it happens, it's not a terrible thing to maneuver around the shop basically. That we go into so many shops and everybody's configuration of the machines is different. So how do you build a modular shelving unit that's, that works with a bunch of different shops? We tried to make it as, as small as a footprint as possible and very adaptable. So, um, you know, with different robots and you know, different heights and configurations. It's really easy to put it wherever you need it, so. I didn't plan to ask you this question, sure. but based on what you just discussed and the fact that you brought up moving machines and, yeah. and that we're always adapting our shops to what's going on, is it durable as well? Like when we're moving this around, because it is so adaptable to situations, oftentimes that flexibility leads to something that's not quite as, as durable as we want right. it to be. It'll fall right. over, it can't hold all the vices and all the heavy parts. So I have to ask the yeah. hard questions, my yeah. friend. Is it also durable? Is it's, it gonna fall over on me? No, it's very durable. That was a big consideration. We wanted it to be rigid, but not overbuilt, not over-engineered. So that was a big consideration. It's absolutely rigid. We also built some really uh, trick little scribe lines and features into the shelves to make it easy to teach the robot. So when you move it, you're not going through the headache of reteaching all the positions. You can basically teach one shelf at a time and replicate. So we've learned a lot with all the different automation cells that we've used. and. And sometimes moving and setting up or reteaching is a lot of work. So we try to make that as simple as possible. And we have a lot of customers that get into automation and they have no idea that that, no one's gonna tell you that like you gotta reteach every position, right? right? So we're trying to get ahead of that. So when a customer installs the system, you're like, okay, you just reteach the shelf and you're good to go, so. Something I have to say, just so you know, in case you do not know the history of Fifth Axis as a company is that and I get this from Matt, what Matt just said is not everyone's gonna teach you that you have to teach the cobot or the robot, all these different, 
they've learned the hard way. I bring this up because their work holding was created because the work holding they were using wasn't working in their fifth a five axis machines. So everything that they're doing, they've proved on their own shop floor by buying darn near one or two of every machine on the planet. If you ever get the chance to go here, which I highly recommend. Last thing I want to ask you again, not necessarily a hard question because you and I have done this before and it's a conversation we have, which is we want everyone, of course, to buy the fifth axis product, but you've set things up in such a way that if someone has already invested in other yes. products, they can utilize that investment without having to throw that away and reinvest in all of these new things, which create the higher cost. So I'm gonna bring it up for this shelving yeah. unit as well. If I have other products that currently exist, can I utilize them in this shelving unit in this automation Absolutely, cell? absolutely. So every, when we talk hardware, especially for automation, it's very open source. So you can buy the components a la carte as you need it. And that's a big point of emphasis for us is we don't make all the products in the world. So certain customers have certain needs or they have existing tooling and we want to be able to be backwards and forwards compatible with a lot of the other brands or custom stuff that people have made. And so you can buy each piece individually as you need it, so. The product is backwards and forwards compatible. In conversation, I'm backwards and you're forwards. Yeah, exactly. I, think, I think we got all the key points, we right? We definitely do, we definitely do. <laughs> well, it depends on the day. It does, it definitely depends on the day, but Matt's good people, Fifth Axis, great company. If there's anything else you need to learn about this product, fifthaxis.com, you can research all of it there. Really a great website. I definitely advise looking into it. Make your own decisions, of course. I'm not here to sell you anything, Matt might be. I'm here to give you information so that you can make your own intelligent decisions, and Fifth Axis is is a great company, Matt. We appreciate hey, your time. Thank you. thank you so much for Always it. Always appreciate it. Do we bump mics? Is that a thing you do? There Absolutely. Yep. A microphone. Cheers.